Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in to watch another Oktoberfest uh, beer review. Oktoberfest 2022 beer reviews here on the channel. Uh, another one out of the uh, state of Ohio, the state that I live in, and this one is out of Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, Brink Brewing Company. And Brink Brewing Company is located in Cincinnati, Ohio, and this is called their Brinktoberfest. The Brinktoberfest. The great Brinktoberfest celebration. 5.7% alcohol by volume. Uh, it is listed on the can. Uh, no IBU is listed. I do not know what it is at the time of the recording. Uh, if I do find it, it'll be off to the side as always. Uh, so I like just a Bavarian flag looking um, you know, logo or uh, artwork on there, color on there, just a, a white and blue checkered pattern. Uh, the Brink Brewing logo right there. I like the Brinktoberfest. I like the play on their name, add something different to it. Uh, it is a Marizen style uh, lager. It says traditional Marizen style lager. So let's see if it's just a your run of the mill uh, Marizen style uh, Oktoberfest lager or if there's something a little bit different to it. So I'm gonna crack this thing open and uh, see what it's all about. So you're new to the channel, hey, become a subscriber. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, drop a comment, hit that notification bell down there, all that fun stuff. We'll get a little bit of a pour here. I won't go overly aggressive, but I will try to uh, produce some head in this thing. And uh, yeah, about uh, five miles of head produced here. I don't know why I started pouring it that way. I was just kind of rambling and everything. Got a little bit of beer on my hand, just wiping on the shorts there. So while we're waiting for that to calm down, very cool artwork right there. Let's set that right up there. Get a little bit closer there for you. All right, so uh, we got, you know, the head's what? It's down from six miles to four miles. So uh, let's see here, color wise, Typical color. There is some good carbonation. This is a rinsed, recently rinsed glass, so uh, lots of carbonation uh, releasing that thing. And again, we're down to about three fingers right now. Uh, very, very um, thick, creamy head. Although it really pounded up there towards the top of the glass, um, it's really kind of, uh, kind of a creamy looking head. There are lots of uh, larger bubbles uh, popping away under the foam. I can see it giving away and, and collapsing inward. Uh, nice uh, amount of, uh, I don't know, I guess not too big of a dish soap head that I can see along the outside there. You can see that right there. Decent carbonation. Nice ambery copper color to this right here. Good clarity to it for the style. Nothing too crazy hazy or anything like that for what this beer is. So I feel it's pretty good, really. Pretty good color to it. Um, head is starting to come down a little bit anyway. Get a nose on it. Yeah, typical uh, Oktoberfest, you get that, um, you know, that uh, like European maltiness to it, that, um, you know, bready yeastiness to it. Maybe a little bit of a toffee, off caramel to a toffee. You know, your typical maltiness is what it is, okay? So nothing crazy so far, nothing crazy. Um, out of the ordinary or over the top. So it's, smell is pretty much spot on. So let's get a drink on this thing. Yeah, that's nice. Nice for the style. Um, body, lighter body. 5.7. Typical for this style. Um, does have a, a, a nice, crisp, refreshing uh, wetness to it. Kind of silky smooth. And then you get your typical, you know, the, the multi backbone to this. A uh, little bit of a, a roasted um, toffiness to it, actually. It's actually quite nice.
nothing crazy over the top, nothing spectacular, just good, solid, Marizen style Oktoberfest lager. And this is their Brinktoberfest from Brink Brewing Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, just hour and a half each south of me right here in Ohio where I'm located. One more look at that. I'm going to give this a four out of five. Uh, if it's a good drink in Oktoberfest style, Marizen or Fest beer, I'm just going to score it a four out of five this year. I don't know. That's what I feel like doing. If there's something a little bit over the top, maybe I'll bump it up a little bit. If there's something really off-putting, in my opinion, I might drop it down a little bit under a four, but solid four out of five for uh, Oktoberfest lager. Uh, anyhow, check out my other Oktoberfest uh, beer reviews. I've been dropping them all week long. Got seven total. Uh, perhaps a bonus one may be coming along. Who knows? Anyhow, thanks for watching.